Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to solve one of the practical problems related to flow and losses in pipes. To solve this problem I will use Bernoulli's and Darcy Wiesbach equations. So let's start! Let's introduce the problem. A pump delivers water through two pipes that are connected to a junction immediately adjacent to the pump outlet. Both pipes have friction factor that is equal to 0.008. One pipe is 150 mm diameter and 60 m long and discharges to atmosphere at a level 8 m above the pump outlet. The other pipe is 100 mm diameter and 45 m long and also discharges to atmosphere at a level 6 m above the pump outlet. The inlet to the pump is 600 mm below the level of the outlet. Taking the datum level as that of the pump inlet, we need to determine the total head at the pump outlet if the flow rate through the pump is 0.037 cubic meters per second. And losses at the pipe junction may be neglected. Let's do a diagram for this setup. We have a pump and we have an outlet. And we also have inlet to the pump that is 600 millimeters below the outlet. We have two pipes, pipe number one that is connected to the outlet and the pipe is discharging into the atmosphere. And point where discharge occurs is 8 meters above the outlet level. We also have pipe number two where it discharges to atmosphere and where it discharges, it's 6 meters above the pump outlet. We take datum at the inlet level. And I also would like to define total head for point number one, where the flow is discharging as H1, and total head for point number two, where second pipe is discharging into atmosphere as head two. And this is total head, which would be equal to elevation of these points from the datum up to the point where discharge occurs. Because it's atmospheric pressure, and so gauge pressure for both points is equal to zero. And also because the water is discharging into the atmosphere, therefore velocity where discharge occurs is also zero. So our data for pipe number one is 150 millimeters diameter, 60 meters long, and it's 8.6 meters above the datum, because we have 8 meters here plus 0.6. And for pipe number two, 100 millimeters diameter, 45 meters long, and it's 6.6 .6 meters above the datum. And the friction factor for both pipes, 0.008. And the flow rate through the pump, is 0 0.037 cubic meters per second. And we need to determine the total head at the pump outlet if the flow rate through this is equal to 0 0.037 cubic meters per second. Let's solve the problem. Let's determine the total head loss through pipe number one. On this diagram, I show total head at the outlet, which I define as H with index O. And also I show the total head at point one. And point one is just discharge point through pipe number one into the atmosphere. Therefore, the gauge pressure at this point would be equal to zero. And also the velocity head at this point would be equal to zero because it discharges to atmosphere. Therefore, the total head at point one would be just equal to the distance from datum up to point one, which is 8.6 meters. The total head loss can be determined using darcy Wiesbach equation, where head loss coefficient takes into account for losses associated with friction and also miscellaneous losses. In this case, it's just the exit loss at point number one and multiply by velocity head through pipe number one. At this stage, we don't know what is the velocity in pipe number one. Therefore, we will express velocity through Q1, which is the flow rate through pipe number one, divided by cross-section area in pipe number one. 
Therefore, if you substitute all the parameters which are known and given in a problem, we can estimate that the total head loss would be equal to 2,252 multiplied by flow rate in power 2. And this is the flow rate in pipe number 1, which we don't know yet. So now we know that the total head at the outlet would be equal total head at point 1 plus all the losses along pipe number 1 which are miscellaneous and also friction losses. Therefore, we can say that the total head at the outlet equal 8.6, which is the total head at point 1, plus all the losses, which is 2,252, multiplied by flow rate in pipe number 1 in power 2. Now let's determine the total head loss through pipe number 2. Again, we will be using Darcy vs. equation. And here again, I show the total head at the outlet and also the total head at point number 2, where the flow is discharging into the atmosphere, or point number 2, which is just 6.6 .6 meters above the datum. This would be the total head at point number 2. So the difference between these two heads, H, O, and H2 would be equal to the total head loss along the pipe number 2. And we can estimate this using darcy weisbach equation. So we have coefficient for the loss, which is due to friction, and also miscellaneous or local losses. In this case, it's exits through pipe number 2, multiplied by velocity gradient through pipe number 2. Again, we don't know velocity at pipe number 2, but we express this velocity through flow rate at pipe number 2 divided by cross-section area of pipe number 2. And again, we substitute all the values which we know and express head loss through pipe number 2 as 12,725 multiplied by flow rate in pipe number 2 in power 2. So these are the total head losses in pipe number 2. And as you know from Bernoulli equation, the total head at the outlet would be equal to the total head at point number 2 plus all these head losses along pipe number 2. So we can express total head at the outlet as 6.6 .6 plus 12,725 flow rate through pipe number 2 in power 2. As in previous slide, we don't know Q1 and Q2 yet. But we will try to express this through the flow rate at the outlet that is provided. So as we know now that the total head at the pump outlet can be expressed through the total head at point 1 plus 2,252 multiplied by flow rates through pipe number 1 and also can be expressed through total head at point number 2 plus 12,725 multiplied by flow rate through pipe number 2 in power 2. And I show this diagram in full. When we can see the point outlet and point 1, we have total head H1 and H0 and total head losses along pipe number 1. And these are total head losses along pipe number 2. Since these two equations on the right hand side have the same parameter which is the total head at the pump outlet which means that the right hand sides of those two equations must be also equal so we can write that all what you see on the right here should be equal to all what you see on the right hand side here since we don't know q1 and q2 we need to solve this differently so we know that the flow rate through the outlet or through the pump is given and is equal 0 0.037. And using continuity equation, we know that this flow rate should be equal flow rate through pipe number 1 plus flow rate through pipe number 2. So let's express Q1 through Q2. And we can write that Q1 would be equal flow rate through the outlet minus Q2, or in power 2, we just take power 2 on both sides of this equation. And now let's substitute this expression into the equation above.
Therefore, we have this equation now where we only have a single unknown, which is Q2, or flow rate through pipe number 2. And to solve this equation, we can use different methods. For example, we can use manual iteration, we can use goal seek function in Excel, or solve a function in Excel. And if you do by iteration choose flow rate through pipe number 2, you can obtain the head at the outlet, which would be equal 9.64 meters. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please write your questions in the comments section. Goodbye.